Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn what is singleton pattern and why we are using this pattern in Angular. So, before understanding all about services, let's understand what is singleton classes and how to create them and how to use it. Then, how this pattern helpful for us in Angular in making things very easy. So, let me go to the Visual Studio Code. Here, first, what I want to do is I want to create one component. If you see here, I have all the app related components and just go here and let me create ng generate component and let me create a component called as child component with skipping the test files. Now it will create a child component and once the child component is created, what I want to do is just I want to go here into my app.component.html and let me bind my component here app hyphen child and let me save this let me run this application ng serve now what I want to do is I want to create one file called as singleton service so singleton dot ts so I just want to export a class export class which is a singleton class and now I want to create a private static variable and this static variable will be pointing to instance which is of type singleton so this is my class type and I'll create a constructor called as private constructor. Why? Because I want to make this service to be singleton and no one should create any instance for this. So how to get the instance from this particular class? I'll create a method called as get instance and this instance what it will do is it will check whether we have that instance or not. So whenever you have the static variable, we can call that static variable by using its class name. So now I can use this singleton instance. If singleton instance does not exist, then I want to create one new instance. That is nothing but singleton dot instance is equal to new singleton. And as it is a private constructor, no one can create any object for this. Only this particular class can create the object for this. And if the instance already exists, I'll just return this particular instance by using singleton dot instance. And as you know, you want to get this method out of this class, then you have to use something called as public and static. So I just want to use this get instance in other services. So what exactly this does? Okay, it will create only one instance and only that particular instance can be used anywhere throughout your application. And that is nothing but your singleton service. That means you are creating global instance for this class and you will not create any instance further so that only one instance will be created and that can be shared by any of the component that is the overall motto of this singleton it will create one instance and it will act like a global state so let me go to app.component.html and create one button here to understand why we are using singleton so let me use set data and create one button with a click event and this click event should set the data set data and the setting of data I am doing only in the parent level. So let me go to app.component.ts and go here and create this. So what it should do? It should use that instance. So how to use that instance inside this singleton? I will be getting that instance by using get instance. But before going further, I want to create some data variable and I want to make it as private. Private data colon any that may be any of the data or you can just go with the string type and uh, this data what I want to do is I want to use set data is a method and inside this set data I'll receive some message which is of type string and this message I want to assign to this dot data is equal to message and we are not assigning any value by default so let me use not symbol so let me save this and if you see here this dot data is pointing to my message and now let me use get data so this get data will return the value whatever we have entered in this this dot data so now it is returning this this dot data and it is used for setting the data 
what I am doing here is from the parent that means app component I am trying to set the data and in the child component we will get the data and as this is a singleton service we will not create n number of instances we will create only one instance and that instance can be used in two components so let me go into app.component.ts and here let me go and assign some variable for the data object inside the singleton to use that it is a singleton class let me use this class import it and dot get instance you will be getting the instance if it is not exist that means this is the first time whenever we are hitting on the set data the instance will not exist and it will create one instance and it will assign to our the instance variable inside this singleton class so app.component.ts here first time it will not have the instance now it will create the instance and for that creation I am setting the data and this data should receive some set of value let me use sci and save this now let me go to app.component.html and save this when the user clicks on this it will go and let me use some console whether it is triggering properly or not it will go into set data and by using this instance I am setting the data so from the parent side I am sending the data to my singleton class now what I want to do is I just want to go to child component child.ts or let me use one particular method called as get data from singleton and I'm using the singleton clause and I'm trying to get the instance if you see here this instance will be the second time so whenever we are creating the instance for the second time it will not create any instance it will just use this return statement of this instance because already the instance exists so it will return the same instance reference so let me go to the child component and get instance it will return the old instance and it will get the data whenever it get the data I'll just try to assign to some variable inside this app component let me copy this and put it over here let me use this as a string variable which is by default empty and once the user clicks on set data and once the user clicks on get data inside the child component we need to get the data from the singleton so let me go to child component dot HTML and here let me use a button and here the button is get data from singleton and let me create a click event click is equal to just I'll call this particular method copy this and put it over here and when the user clicks on this I want to print the message child works and the message is message this message first let me use a default message so that we will understand where exactly it gets changed let me save this and go to the browser here you can see we have something called as set data and get data so let me go to inspect and here inside the console let me zoom a bit and now when the user clicks on set data the instance will be created and it will set the data in my singleton let me click on this and you can see here set data and when the user clicks on get data from singleton then your message has been changed to sci whatever we are sending from our parent we are getting the data from our child but here the mapping is done by using a singleton service singleton service is acting like a bridge to pass the data from one class to another class so that is the advantage of using a singleton it is acting like a global state and holding the whole state this singleton life is only for a certain period of time that is once we reload the application the instance will be cleared and if you try to hit this you are getting an empty message why because by default the singleton will have a data with an empty string so that is the reason you are getting an empty but when the user clicks on set data so set data set at the value in my singleton and now whenever I click on this that particular value will be returned because both the instances are same let me go back and if we are not using singleton what will be the problem let's go to the singleton class and here or just try to create n number of instances every time whenever you return something like this so return new singleton save this and here I'll not use this instance variable so what will happen is whenever I try to call the instance it will create a new instance whenever the new instance is created the set data whatever we are setting it will have a normal variable so it will have a default values for example let me mark it as default single 
done value and save this let me clear it off yeah let me go to the browser here it will not use one instance it will create an instance whenever we are calling get instance so if you click on the set data set data was triggered and it should set the data as sai for our data object inside our singleton but when i click on get data from singleton then it is returning default singleton value why it is returning because the default value is this one it is setting the value by the parent but as a new instance that means i'll just brief here a app component will point to singleton reference one and the child is also creating one more instance for this so that's why it will create one more instance ref2 then the component can't share the data between these two that is the reason what we are doing is we are trying to create a singleton if the instance already exists don't create it return the same instance that is the policy what we are following here instead of returning this i'll use singleton dot instance so that the people can return this value and this time whenever you are writing this particular logic which is a singleton logic then child component will also refers to singleton reference of one that is the address will be matching each other so that the two components can share the data and singleton can hold the data until unless it is resetted the reset is only possible in angular whenever you reload the application so that is how we are using singleton and why we are using static the only reason is we cannot create instance out of it because we are using a private constructor whenever you are using a private constructor this constructor cannot be accessed out of this class whenever you are not able to access this particular class in other classes then you cannot create an object for this if you are not creating an object for this you cannot access the variables inside this the only way to access them is by using a static variables because static variables does not need any instance it requires only class name by using this class name i can access this get instance as well as instance variable so that is the reason we are just using this static method to return our value so that we will not create n number of objects for our application hope you understand the concept of singleton so that this is the base concept of angular services so angular services generally called as singleton but angular service will also provide you the capability to create n number of services by using a public constructor it is not always a singleton but by default angular will provide the singleton pattern but based on your usage the singleton pattern can be changed from module level to a component level or a component level to the root level so that can be handled by angular and we will see how it works in angular and what exactly the dependency injection means we'll see all these topics further in this series please watch and stay tuned to angular services to understand completely in depth on angular services hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you